Hello and welcome to Emmanuel Church of the Deaf in Rochester, New York. I am Father Ray Fleming. I am your deacon, Pat Graybill. We gather with all of you to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. That means this year it is happening on December 24th. It's been short. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. To begin, we must first ponder our need for God's mercy and his support. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and grant us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading, a reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side. He said to Nathan, the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Our Responsorial Psalm Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, my Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel, and the proclamation of Jesus Christ. According to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings, and according to the command of the eternal God. made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word 
of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke that I will present to you now in American Sign Language. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
So when you see this mass, it will be December 24th. And I have a question. Are you ready for Christmas? And there are other questions. What do you really want for Christmas? And are you finished buying everything on your list? What kind of gifts will you be giving? Will one be a payback gift? So I know some people every year when they give a gift inside they leave the price tag. Then in the following year I need to remember oh what did they spend I have to give them back the same amount. Or do you give a gift of love? You know, that shows that you love that person, heart and soul. So here's a cute story I saw recently. A family was preparing everything, getting ready for Christmas and discussing what was already finished on their lists. The cards had been filled and mailed, the gifts were bought, everything was wrapped. They were ready. Then, the youngest child, about four years old, had said, we have all the gifts for everyone in the family but what are we giving to God? I mean, she is only four, but so wise. What will we give to God? Well, my mother would say, what do you give a person that has everything? Well, that is where love goes into the gift by following the example of the Virgin Mary. Mary said, God, I fully commit myself to you. That, I believe, is what God wants from us. To give ourselves to God. If we give ourselves to God, that is a gift of ourselves given to other people. Those that we love and those people that are in need of our love. There is an old wise proverb from Denmark. It says, the person who gives to me teaches me how to give. The person who gives to me teaches me how to give. So are you ready for Christmas? Hey, come on. Are you ready for Christmas? Merry Christmas. Amen. Let us pray. For our church spread throughout the world, ready and preparing us for Christmas, so that we may give ourselves to God and our love can be shared with those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. For the world and the people who often feel lonely or feel lost, especially during Christmas time. May we, the people of the world, share ourselves with those around us in the name of love.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For people in our community and throughout the world that are sick and suffering, that need love, care, and mercy from God and from us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. For those people that now, especially within our church, that are sick, like Mel Chua, whose health continues to be a struggle, Greg and Paula Rosa, who continue to struggle. Jean Beam and the others. May they all regain their health in God's time according to His will as He works to the people that support us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. We pray for those people that have died. May they all rest in peace, especially today. We remember Grace, who recently passed last week, and we observe the funeral for her, and the members of our church that we have lost and have gone to heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. And for those people that have within their hearts their private prayers, for those of you that we cannot see, let us take this moment to think and offer our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. God, show us your mercy again. Help us throughout the darkness in the world today. And wake us to your light and your plan as your love spreads throughout the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you. May they become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, your Son. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare hope. And so with all the angels, hosts, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He first took the bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Now we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one 
by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Salvatore our Bishop and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Twelve Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray using the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all, and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Share that peace with those around you. Peace. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This prayer is for those of you who cannot come to receive communion at this time. Please join me in this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly 
to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Having received the pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity. Through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now with peace in your hearts, love and service to the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.